Hi folks, I am solving lead code stop 150 questions and that's all you need for your coding interviews. So in this video, we'll be solving longest palindromic substring. We have given a string S and we have to return the longest palindromic substring. So first of all, what is a palindrome? Palindrome is a string. If you reverse it, it's going to be the same string. For example, this BAB. So if you reverse this, it will still be BAB. So that's where it is palindrome. Let's look at this example. A brute force approach to start would be we start from here and check every character with every substring. So first we will go B, then we will go this and finally here. Checking if it's a substring is O of n times complexity. And we are checking each character with every substring. So that will be n square. So overall, it will give us O of n cube time complexity. We can do better than this. When we start from here and then go all the way to all of the substring, then it's fine. But let's just say we start here and we check both of the side, left and right. So here in the left, there is nothing. Right, there is A and it's not a substring. If we start at A, left mates B and here also it's B. So that we found our first substring. So we are going to take each character that is going to be n time complexity and we are going to expand outwards. That is again going to be n time complexity and this is going to be n square. This is really smart. If you go check like inward character by character, it's n q. But if you start go outwards, it's n square. And this also involves like a one more edge case. We only saw for this odd string. But if we get even string, we can handle that via code. So let's see how we can solve this. So we will need two variables, index and the length. This will be also zero. And now we will loop through this uh, substring. And let's handle for odd cases. First, we will initialize left and right as i. Since we are at odd, we can have our while loop and we can check for all of the outbound cases. And we want to check if our L is equal equal to right. So while this is a palindrome, we can check if the length of this palindrome, which we can do by if this is greater than our rest dot length, then we will update our index to. So we are using indices because if we would have directly stored a string, it will be again like an n operations. And now we can update our rest length. Now let's update our pointers L minus minus and R plus plus. And now let's handle for even cases. So our L will be I, but our R will be I plus one. And the same case, like while this is palindrome, we can update our indices and now update the pointers. And finally, we will return our substring with index and index plus length. This will return our palindrome. So let's run this. Yep, it works. Yep, it does work. Hope you found this helpful. If yes, you can consider subscribing to the channel. And thank you so much for watching.